Hello, this is Shikma from All New Video Tutorial from Creative Mission. This is another key, uh, uh, video tutorial of uh, MS Access. Uh, this is class number um, uh, class number four, part one. Uh, we're gonna uh, uh, describe, uh, be, uh, we're gonna be uh, briefly describe about our MS Access relationship. So first, uh, at first time we will start with the one to bad relationships is one is most important. So before relationship, you have to uh, 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 you have to maintain few uh, rules. Uh, that that's our uh, I can say um, okay. Out of his tools relationship. So there's relationship base and. Uh, there's a there's a uh, tree table uh, we have already created in our uh, project. <coughs> Sorry. So this is course table, this is students information table, and this is admission table. So first of all, I will discuss in this two table students and course. So before uh, creating a relationship, we have to uh, maintain. Uh, we have to uh, take uh, very carefully uh, um, uh, create, uh, creating our table uh, few roles. Uh, in this table, um, before relationship, you have to uh, uh, apply one field of one table um, uh, primary key. Primary key is very much important for a relationship. If your relationship you have to apply one primary key in one table, minimum one table, and in one field, you have got a primary key. This is key. So this is symbol of primary key. And then course table also has primary key, but in the one to many relationship, we need one primary key in one table and of this in this table in one field. The other table we will, will not be Contain one contents and kind of primary key. So, when one can one table, other table will not contain any kind of primary key. We will call foreign key. We call foreign key whose table has no primary key. At that time, we will call foreign key. We will uh, match in this table like this: student ID, student ID. There is primary key and there is no primary key. So this is uh, primary key and this is foreign key. Other ones, is, since there is no primary key, so you, you can call him primary key, uh, foreign key. And at that time, you have to uh, uh, create um, relationship by this way. Okay. Uh, we have to uh, need. We have to need. We need to uh, some modify here. And for design view, design view, we need to uh, remove primary key from here. Since we want to uh, what you want to apply, you want to apply one to one relationship between course table and admission table at the time okay save save okay save okay now there is no primary key uh, so it is uh, foreign key but different relationship uh, uh, it is true that you need to apply one primary key in one table but uh, the second one is uh, you need to set one field name or uh, one field in both table, same field name in both table. Same field name means same data type and same name. It's most important you have to maintain uh, same data type and same mean. Okay. So design view. So you need to apply one another rule. Uh, inside rule, uh, this is a student as to uh, ID. Okay, construct supply, save. I think that's uh, got it. On um, the design tools relationship here. 
so if you got it as uh, student's id so same field is remains in for before relationship between two table uh, since you want to uh, make one to many relationships one to student table and between uh, course students and uh, course table so uh, students id is here uh, this is primary key but this is a student is also here in the course table but there is no primary key this is foreign key that time we will call it foreign key so before relationships number two uh, condition is uh, same field is most important in both table uh, same field means the same relative same uh, name and and uh, third number condition third condition is um, third condition is uh, before relationship you don't enter any kind of data in this table don't entry any data in this table before relationship this is third number of conditions and fourth number of condition is don't open any table in your uh, program uh, before relationship and uh, at the time of relationship when you are creating a relationship at the time if you uh, uh, table is uh, running at that time it will uh, showing you a message that your table is running so i can't make any kind of relationship so if there is four condition there are four condition there uh, that, that there is our uh, there are four condition mm, mm, like first one is uh, same field is important in both table one primary case important in one table and one field uh, the third one is uh, don't enter any kind of data from uh, before relationship and fourth condition is don't open don't open any kind of table before and uh, and creating at the time you create a relationship so i think it's very clear uh, to you now so the next one is so one to many relationships so we have to uh, uh, think is that why do we do relationship and also one to many relationship this is two types of question one is what is relationship and why we'll do one to many relationships. Relationship is very important for uh, software or database uh, because uh, at that time when we want to query data or the students from all table at that time we have to uh, we have to uh, uh, use relationship because uh, uh, finding or query a uh, lot of data from all table at that time uh, you cannot query without relationship so to query data you have to apply relationship in your table or database so i think it's very clear um the next one is why we will do one to many relationship one to many relationship is very important why uh, if you want to uh, uh, think that one student will take lots of course at the time we will create one to many relationship think very carefully one is student so in, in a computer training center so one student uh, maybe uh, take uh, lots of code so uh, C++, plus for uh, C sharp web designing graphics multimedia there are, there are lots of lots of uh, uh, courses so if any students want to um, uh, get uh, uh, two or three uh, courses at that time he, she, uh, he or she um, uh, can take it so in this sense we have to uh, create one to many relationship one student will take lots of course so one student so course will be many so one to many uh, you have to think it this one in this one to many relationship one is primary key and many is foreign key so i think it's very much clear so now we have to create multiple relationship and uh, drag students uh, uh, id from a student table and uh, set up it or paste it in the course table of student study field and enforce create three item enforce cascades update related fields and can delete related can delete or relate fields and update also and first reference to get a create click on the create so what is uh, showing this message the database engine couldn't do lock uh, table codes because it's already used by another person so 
uh, this is very clear I have already uh, told you that uh, if you uh, table is often at that time relationship will, will not be complete so before the relationship you have to close all table who is uh, running and uh, now you will create uh, again uh, the relationship and check the all buttons and and create click on create so got it this is uh, uh, very clear this is one and this is many symbols so one to many relationship already created so I uh, have to uh, save it save and then we will entry here in this table students series one astronaut Muhammad Hassan Hassan address is Chirgong uh, you can uh, phone number you can say got into here okay the value in turn doesn't say each also okay you have to our number is like this uh, student qualification uh, you can uh, MBA what's going on okay Student table. Oh, oh, what is going on? All contents enable. All contents. Okay. Okay. Students M B A. So there is no importance. Uh, this is another. Uh, if you want to add any fields, at that time we can do that. So we need to do that. So we have done uh, one record. So we are finding uh, what is this. And after relationship, we will find some uh, a relation symbol is here in this table and plus this is this is relationship with course table. After click in this uh, table, you can entry uh, data or record of course table then by this uh, student table you can read uh, entry data in course table course 001 so course name is uh, you can say CDSM graphics multimedia talk uh, is uh, you can say the 10,000 okay so one too many this is one record of a student table so two one students can take lots of courses so at that time we can apply this ID in course table in many time so course 002 maybe I can see if you think uh, like that a uh, CDCM or CDCS CDCS means uh, office application uh, so 5000 5000 so one students students 001 so one students have already uh, taken CDCM uh, courses and CDCS courses also so another course is 003 if you think uh, CDPN or networking okay this is uh, 5000 okay so one student will take three courses so uh, close it and go to the course table what is wh what do you want to say wh what are you watching wh are you finding that three table three record already have set or, or add a data is entry here so this is one record two record three records so students 001 this is Muhammad Hassan so he have uh, taken uh, CDCM course and CDCS course and CDPN course three courses he has taken so this is uh, one to many relationship by one to many relationship you can enter his uh, entry uh, like this in course student tables is one record but course tables is three record but if you think uh, very carefully this is students Muhammad Hassan his ID is student 001 and course table student ID is three type because he will take 
he is uh, 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 taking uh, three courses. So I think um, this is uh, very clear to you. And uh, uh, this is relationship. So this is one to many relationships. One student will take or uh, will uh, um, complete uh, many courses. At the time, you will get one to many relationship. This is very clear. So if you uh, know very much uh, strongly uh, at that time uh, you have to repeat this watch you repeat this video uh, again and again so thank you very much